Hey guys, it's Chris from Highline Guitars and you're watching another episode from the Luthiers Workbench. This episode, like last week, is going to be an update on my Highline CNC build, which has been going on now for the past few weeks. And it's getting very close. I'm about maybe 90% away from being uh, totally finished with this. In the last week, I managed to finish off the Z-axis spindle mount. Uh, the, if you'll remember, I mentioned in a previous episode that when I got the linear rails, one of them was the wrong size, so I had to order a replacement and wait for that to come in, and it finally arrived. So I was able to get the Z-axis plate with the spindle uh, installed, and up top here I have the NEMA 23 stepper motor with the mounting bracket installed onto the lead screw, and it seems to work pretty well. So that part of it has been completed. I also made a waste board. This is just three quarter inch thick MDF board. And what I did was I drilled and countersunk 12 holes, which will mount the board to the extrusion table underneath it. And then I drilled, I think it was 120 holes on roughly three inch centers and counter, or uh, chamfer the back side. And what I'm gonna do is install five uh, M5 threaded inserts from the back side, and that will serve as the clamping system for the wasteboard. And I'm just waiting for those M5 inserts to get here. So once they arrive, I'll be able to install all those. I'll permanently mount the top of the table, and I'll be good to go at that point. One of the other tasks that I managed to uh, nearly complete this week was the installation of all the electronics. So let me bring you in a little closer and I'll show you how I've set up my control box for the Highline CNC machine. Okay, so what you see here is the box that is holding all the electronic components that make up the control for my CNC machine. And what I did was, originally I was planning to use a metal electronics project box. And what I did was, I, once I had all the components for the controls, I laid them out to see how large of a box I would need. And about the same time, I paid a visit to a local thrift store and I was just walking through and noticed they had on sale some little two drawer metal filing cabinets. So I picked one up for eight bucks and I relieved the cabinet of one of the drawers and that's what I'm using for my control box. It's not exactly a NEMA rated electronics enclosure, but it's all steel. There's no plastic in it. And I've noticed that a lot of guys, when they build these CNC machines, they'll install all their electronics onto a, you know, an old sheet of plywood, or they'll make a, you know, a box out of wood for it. And I've also seen guys use those um, plastic storage containers. And because of the, 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 electron, the voltages that we're dealing with here, those are a fire hazard. It's got to be made out of steel and it's got to be grounded. So that's kind of what I'm doing here is I've made this, um, or I've used this filing cabinet drawer. I suppose a desk drawer would work as well too, as long as it's all metal. But then what I did was I cut up the sides of the filing cabinet and fashioned a lid. And this just simply lifts off. And inside you can see all the components that I'm using for my CNC control. And that consists of uh, four stepper drivers, two power supplies, and a parallel port breakout board. And down here is a, this is going to be a five volt um, bus. I will attach a five volt power supply to the sides here and run power to that bus. And then from the bus, power goes out to the breakout board and then to the circuit board sides of the stepper drivers. And then down here, I have a ground bar 
and that's where all my ground wires connect into. And then I have a ground wire running off the power supplies ground and uh, going to the end of that ground bar. So um, these are the power supply cables. They obviously haven't been hooked up and that's what I'm still waiting for is I've got this great big power switch coming and I'll wire the, the um, power supply cables into that, into one side and then out the other side will be um, the cord that will run to the wall and then I can just switch on the power supply with just one switch and that'll fire up everything. I'm also getting a couple of 120 by 120 millimeter fans, uh, put one in the front, one in the back, and that will cool uh, the inside. It will, you know, pull the hot air that's generated by these stepper drivers out of the, the uh, box. So that should hopefully keep it nice and cool. And then I've got, as you can see here, this, these two wires that end up in this big spaghetti mess here are, that, that is four conductor, fully shielded and grounded wire. That's what takes the signals out of the box. And then up through a hole in the table here, through the drag chains and to the stepper motors. So that's how the signal gets out to the steppers to run uh, the gantry back and forth and the Z axis up and down and all that. So uh, that, that part of it's done and um, I'm also should be getting hopefully today limit switches and i'm going to be putting six limit switches on this machine i'll put two on the y-axis one at either end here and then two on either side of the x-axis and then one or actually two on the z-axis so i'm just waiting for those to to arrive hopefully they'll be here today and I've also got an emergency switch coming and I plan to put that in a separate control box so I can stand here holding the box and if there's a problem I just press the button and shut the whole thing down. So that's kind of what I have to wait for now and hopefully that will be here really soon. Over the past week as I've been working on this control box I've been posting photos of my progress on Facebook and Instagram and um, elsewhere on social media and one of the questions that has popped up a couple of times is how am I going to connect my PC to this control box because as you can see the breakout board is a parallel port breakout board that uses a DB25 type connector. Well that's an interesting question because most modern computers don't have a way to connect using one of these DB25 parallel port cables. Uh, if you, these may look familiar to some of you uh, out there who remember this is how we used to connect our computers to uh, printers back in uh, I think the late 80s early 90s and computers today don't come with these so the option is I could buy a PC an older PC that still has one of these cables uh, or one of these connectors. The problem with that is, is then I have to uh, make do with an older operating system and probably less than stellar internet connection. So, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, another option is to replace that breakout board with a breakout board that supports USB or ethernet and that can get really expensive. Um, and then finally, the, another option is just instead of using the uh, parallel port cable here is to use a uh, USB to parallel port adapter that's specifically designed for CNC communications. And the one out there that seems to be the most popular is the UC100. But again, that's a fairly pricey uh, investment. So what I've come up with is, and I've mentioned this before, but it's this this simple little adapter. And what this is, is an Arduino Uno, and connected to the top is a DB25 CNC adapter card that plugs right into the Uno. And it has a 25 pin uh, DB25 uh, connector on it. And what this will allow me to do is I can attach the cable coming out of the or coming off of the breakout board, I can just connect it into 
the uh, DB25 connector and then plug my USB connection into the Arduino Uno. So it's basically a low cost adapter. And what this card does specifically is it, it maps out the pin assignments for the DB25 specifically to the pins on the Arduino Uno that are assigned to motion control. So it's hopefully mapping them out correctly in such a way that I can easily connect and send signals from my laptop to the stepper drivers. And the best part about this is I can use Garble controller software. Garble is a free open source motion control program which will control the signals to the stepper drivers. And I can, that's already been flashed onto the Arduino Uno. So what I can do is once I connect my PC to the Arduino Uno with the USB card or USB cable, I can use a program like Universal G Code Center to access the garble and adjust the settings for the motion control that will reflect the settings that I'm gonna be using on my stepper drivers. So it, it seems pretty cut and dry and I am optimistic that it will work, but until I get it connected, I won't know for sure. So hopefully this will all plug in and work really well right out of the gates. If there's a problem and I just can't find a way to get this to work, I can always just unplug the cable and then I'll have to put my tail between my legs and pick up one of those UC100 adapters and I'll plug that in and uh, I'll go from there. But I'm pretty optimistic that this should work um, hopefully pretty well. I know there are other guys out there who have used this same solution on their CNC machines and have had uh, remarkable luck with it so we'll just we'll just see how it works out and if it works great if not that uh, the card and the uh, uno uh, arduino uno only cost me twenty dollars so that's all i'd be out so we'll see how that goes but that's where things stand this week and hopefully next week i'll be closer to getting this whole machine up and running and start carving some guitar bodies but you know, it's all going to depend on how long it takes to get uh, all the components that I've ordered uh, to arrive since everything is coming from overseas. But uh, until next week, take care and we will see you soon.